Hello and welcome to Echoes of Valor, where extraordinary stories of courage, resilience and hope from those who lived through war are shared. Join us as we honor the untold narratives, amplify their voices and inspire a community united in remembrance and gratitude. Subscribe now to be moved by the power of human spirit and ensure these tales of bravery never fade away. It was a sunny morning in Hiroshima, a bustling city in Japan. Little did the inhabitants know that their lives were about to change forever. On August 6, 1945, an atomic bomb detonated above the city, unleashing unimaginable destruction and devastation. Amidst the chaos and destruction, four individuals found themselves at different locations, each struggling to comprehend the horrors they had just witnessed. Hiroshi, a young school teacher, had been on his way to work when the bomb detonated. The force of the blast knocked him off his feet, and he emerged from the chaos disoriented and injured. The city he had known and loved had transformed into a nightmarish landscape of rubble and ash. With an overwhelming sense of desperation, Hiroshi stumbled through the ruins, searching for anyone who might still be alive. As he made his way toward the epicenter of the blast, he encountered a middle-aged woman named Keiko. Keiko had been shopping for groceries near the city center when the bomb struck. Miraculously, she survived, though she sustained minor injuries. As she surveyed the devastation, tears streamed down her face, mourning the loss of her family and her former life. Determined to survive, Keiko began sifting through the wreckage, salvaging what little food and supplies she could find. Hearing a faint cry for help, she followed the sound and discovered Hiroshi among the debris. Meanwhile, a young doctor named Masato had been attending to patients at the Hiroshima Red Cross Hospital, a few kilometers away from the point of impact. The blast wave had shattered windows and left the hospital in disarray. With a heavy heart, Masato began treating the injured and comforting the dying. As he moved through the chaos, Masato noticed a wounded woman, Emiko, lying among the debris. With immense compassion, he tended to her injuries and offered her solace. Together, they set out in search of safety and aid. Emiko, a widowed mother, had been working at a nearby factory when the bomb exploded. She had been shielded from the worst of the blast by a sturdy piece of machinery. Grievously injured and in shock, she managed to crawl to safety as the black rain began to fall. Through sheer determination, Emiko had managed to survive the initial onslaught. Weak and disoriented, she was found by Masato, who quickly became her beacon of hope in this darkened world. As Hiroshi and Keiko moved closer to the city center, they stumbled upon Masato and Emiko, who were struggling through the ruins. The four survivors looked at each other, their eyes filled with a mix of sorrow, hope and determination. Recognizing that their chances of survival were greater if they stuck together, the group formed an unspoken bond. With the black rain falling, they sought shelter in a partially intact building, creating a makeshift refuge from the toxic downpour. As the black rain relentlessly poured down, the four survivors shared their stories, finding solace in the fact that they were not alone in their grief. They vowed to support one another, to find strength in their unity, and to rebuild their shattered lives. In the midst of unimaginable devastation, a glimmer of hope emerged within the hearts of Hiroshi, Keiko, Masato, and Emiko. Together, they would navigate the arduous journey ahead, determined to forge a new beginning from the ashes of Hiroshima. Thank you for joining us on this journey through untold war stories, where heroes' voices are finally heard. Remember to honor their sacrifice and keep their legacies alive. Like and subscribe for more untold stories, and join us as we unveil the hidden chapters of history.